This is a story of Karthik Sridharan. He is the co-founder and CEO of Flexible, a company that was built entirely leveraging no-code tools and was able to generate $3 million in revenue. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the story, talk about the platform, and also the tools leveraged to build it. Let's go. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Startup Studio. Christian Pevarelli here. I am the co-founder of We Are No Code. We teach people how to build and launch their tech startups without knowing how to program or code at all. If you wanna check it out, wearenocode.com. Now, before we get into the story, like and subscribe to the channel so you can keep getting notified every time we release tips and tricks to build your startup leveraging no code. Karthik, like many people out there, chose a career that didn't really correspond to him. After studying finance and finding a job in the finance industry, he very quickly realized that it really wasn't for him. He wasn't finding himself satisfied in his position and he was not passionate about the work itself. And so he quit his job in pursuit of an MBA in one of the top business schools in India. But after school, he chose to bypass the placement program and chose to not go the conventional way of finding a good paying job, but instead chose to become an entrepreneur. And at this point, he realized that there was a shift in the talent economy that was taking place. Some of the highest performing individuals in the market were actually looking for more flexibilities in their jobs and careers. And freelancing and remote jobs was becoming very, very popular and in demand. And he found that a lot of these freelancing platforms had actually really bad perception, right? They had relatively low quality and it was really a hit and miss when you went to recruit people there. And so he realized there was an opportunity in pre-vetting these individuals so that he could place them into the right position that would have the flexibility that those individuals were looking for. And that was when the birth idea for Flexible came about. So at first, Karthik was really focused on connecting some of these freelancers with companies and taking a commission in between, but very quickly realized, hey, there's probably a better way to do this so that I can do this at scale. And so after initially building a very complex platform, leveraging full code, so coding the entire thing, he realized that he went to market and like most people realized that there was no demand in the way that he had created this product. And so it led him to this whole situation where he had to unbuild, rebuild, but he came back to the essentials. And because of the power of these incredible incredible no-code tools, he was able to build a first version of Flexible. Now, at first he only used Google Sheets, but very quickly moved into building the full web app, leveraging a platform called Bubble.io. He subsequently was able to scale this platform until he reached $3 million in revenue. So for those of you who don't think that no-code can be used to build incredibly powerful things, think again. Now, there are three key learnings in entrepreneurship behind this story, and I wanna break them down one by one. Number one, focus on the customer value that you're delivering instead of focusing in on the product that you are building. As long as you're able to solve a problem or to bring someone to an outcome, they will be willing to pay for it because you are delivering the value. If you build a product but people don't use it, then you are completely missing the point and you are simply a product builder, not a business builder. Long story short, you don't need to build very complex software to solve people's problems and make money online. The number two lesson is that no-code tools can be incredibly powerful powerful because they allow people who are non-technical to be able to do an incredible number of things, reducing the amount of bottlenecks and focusing on providing value and generating revenue and growing the actual company. It also allows you to be way more flexible when you go out in the market and you have assumptions around what people want, but need to find yourself building, testing as quickly as possible so that we can get feedback to understand how to improve it. Now, the third very important lesson is that you can bootstrap your startup from the ground up and you absolutely should, regardless of whether you're looking to raise money from investors who only want to invest in revenue generating businesses or if you're looking to fully bootstrap which means to keep 100% of the company and to just grow via revenue. And that my friends is a story of how Karthik built a $3 million business leveraging only no code tools and he was able to do it incredibly cost effectively. And by the way if you have an idea for an app or a tech startup but you don't know how to code you can check out our free course below that brings you through the steps you need to follow to build your startup with no code. And if you enjoyed this video Video, subscribe for more. See you in the next video. Let's go.